ஹாய் எவ்ரி ஒன் ஹாய் ஸோ ஐம் கோயின் டுடே ஐம் கோயின் டு ஷோ யூ ஹவ் டு மேக் ஏ ஆட்ரிபியூட் பிளாக் அண்ட் ஆல்சோ ஹவ் வீ கேன் எடிட் தேட் ஐ லைக் ஏ வீ கேன் ஆட் ஏ எக்ஸ்ட்ரா ஃபீல்ட் அண்ட் ஆல்சோ ஐ வில் ஷோ யூ ஹவ் டு மேக் ஏ சம் ஸ்கைல் ஸோ ஐம் கோயின் கோயின் டு மேக் திஸ் எ சிம்பிள் எக்ஸசைஸ் வி நீட் ஏ ரூம் டேக் வித் ஜஸ்ட் ரூம் நேம் வித் ஏரியா ஓகே ஸோ ஐம் கோயின் டு டிலீட் திஸ் ஒன் so i'm going to make a attribute so you can type att for a attribute so you can enter then you will get a, a window so you can make a uh, in in the tag column you can make a uh, room name but make sure it should be without space so you can keep it without space and also the in imprompt you can keep it with space there is no issue and also default prompt is a it's, it's a default um, you know the uh, your it um, your um, category okay so the default it's a um, your value it's a default value so you can change later okay so the next one you, you, you can go to the text text setting then uh, i prefer always mm, middle sender so it will when now it's bigger or smaller it it stay in in position and also you can choose the text style always so if you have a special text style you can and also for iso standard i'm always to choose the text height as a 2.5 um for 1 is to 1 scale okay so this this is a common setting then you can press okay so the thing is make sure so you you, you keeping text height as a 2.5 because it's a, it's for one is to one scale and rotation we we don't want any rotation so we are keeping as a zero so just enter then you, you just insert uh, the table then you can see the if you double click you can see the tag and prompt and default okay it's a it's a simple simple things okay so we the next step we need to add a, a, a area category i mean area field so you can do two, two ways one we can add as a att then we can add it and also the easy step you can just uh, you can just copy and change the categories area then you can copy the prompt and default category then press okay so it's already done so we can make it two ways the other way also and also and we are making a column just make a rectangle uh, some line work for making uh, the tag feel good okay now the next step we need to make a block for this one so you can make a block type b then you can tag it a room tag the name then quick point make it sender and select object okay then make sure uh, uh, so you you can ke- you can see the behavior the make sure you, you don't want to make annotative i'll show you annotative in next stage also the the thing is other one it's uh, this allo exploding okay so make sure it's uh, antique you know why because if it's um, tick anyone can explode your standard block once you made it okay so if it's untick then no one can explode it otherwise they need to open the uh, block then they need to change in properties okay normally we'll do when we make the standard uh, blocks then we'll do this way so make sure it's untick okay so keep it always always like this because it, it's a better so once you've done all all these things just press okay 
then you can see automatically came the uh, a window so so this is for adding the value so i'm just skipping just making okay then we can add add later okay then if you click double click on the on the top you can see you can you can easily value so room name you can just put bedroom or something whatever so i'll tap bedroom and also for the area you can just type whatever the 10 square square meter m square okay so so the thing is done so easily so you, you guys understand I, I think you, you guys understand it this is easier way then the next one we need to add one more column i mean one more field for the room number okay so um, we are going to open the block so we can make we can add the field easily one the two way one is copy on or you can just make it with uh, attribute okay so i'm just copying so i'm just copy paste then you can change the the value just room number make sure there is no space huh? so room number the room number and also you can copy and paste okay but it's look too big right i mean too long so i'm just going to change uh, i'll just make it shorter for the tag only so do you, uh, So I'll just shorten. So it will feel a little bit shorter. So okay. So I need to. So the next one I'll I'll make a rectangle stretch. So I'll just make a more wider. So copy, then I'll stretch it. Okay, stretch it. So once it's done, then we are going to close it. So close. Okay. So once it's done, you can see this. So which which one you added the new one? You can see this is empty because you, you cannot get it. So uh, m my mo most of the friend asked this same question when we add the new field in attribute we cannot see it why so it's a simple setting so you can just type att s y n c so that means attribute synchronization so you can just enter okay then you can select option the select then click the block okay then click s okay then enter So now you can see the the text came. See, you can see the the new field already in in. So it's a it's a simple thing. So 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 all the blocks. So whenever you are making some blocks, it's easy to make it in one is to one. So it's the thing is we whenever we have different scale you can easily change in in the properties so you can see whenever you select it in the properties you can see scale x y z it's everything one right so whenever you need to change to 10 i mean one is to 10 so you can just type it to 10 so it's automatically change scale so it's it's easy so make sure your your job is just doing in one is to one Okay, so make it in standard format. Okay, make sure it's your setting in one is one. So standard, all the attribute. Okay, thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Uh,
we'll see you with uh, another video bye see you